gonna walk you through it step by step, which measurements to do, how to order it, so you can have a new chase cushion uh, to make your living room better. Right, you'll be comfortable again. Welcome to another episode of Do You Know What To Do? We got a chase cushion here today. Yeah, we do. And it may seem a little daunting how big it is right. for measuring, right. but it's really not that uh, hard. I almost said it's really not that simple. <laughs> it's <laughs> it really, not simple at all. <laughs> it really isn't that hard at all. All you need to do is measure it just like you would for an L cushion. That's which, all it is. You know, we have on our website, and we're gonna walk you through it step by step, which measurements to do, how to order it, so you can have a new chase cushion uh, to make your living room better. Right, okay, before we get started, go to ucprivatecourses.com yep. and that's where you can order this phone. Right, and we're gonna go ahead and pull it up ourselves on our phone to follow through and show you how to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, real quick, once we go to ucprivatecourses.com, click the order phone, and you see it right there, mm -hmm. click that, and then wait just a few seconds when that page pulls up because there's gonna be a pop-up that will allow you to get 10% off your order uh, by subscribing to our newsletter. Now, we won't be flooding you with a lot of emails. No, yeah. Trust so me. don't worry about that. That ain't gonna happen. But yeah, we want you guys to have that discount. Nor are we gonna be selling them. No. We're not gonna be doing that either. I'm not giving them away, so. Oh yeah, the emails? Us. No, 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 no. That. That's, that's cheesy. Right. All right, now, after you get that 10% discount, scroll down, go to the L cushion, because again, we said this thing is basically a big L. It is. And big loser. <laughs> 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 but we're gonna go ahead and go there, and we're gonna be going through the steps. First step right here is the foam compression. So it's okay. gonna ask you what compression you would like, mm -hmm. right? Now we have a chart that will help you out with that. It's on the website. Exactly, and let me pull that up real quick. Now, to figure this thing out, we first need to do our first measurement, which is the thickness of this cushion. Right, so in the, let me go in the front here so you can see it. Excellent. On the band size there, it's five inches. I'm going between the, the welt or the piping, or some people call it cording. In between there, okay, so I'm not including that, is five inches. Got it, okay. But you wanna go measure in a couple of different areas. Yeah, okay. so let's just measure right here. So just check this out Hold on the that. other side, five inches, it's looking... Very consistent. Perfect, right, good job. So that's good. So with all the measurements, no matter what it is, the thickness, the width, the depth, we're adding an inch to it, okay? One inch only. One inch only. So that means is we're gonna be ordering a foam that is six inches. Go ahead and look at the chart. That fits between the four and seven inch, on the chart. About, about the compression. Exactly. And for those, that size, that thickness, mm -hmm. soft is 26 compression. And that's this, that's right. what compression's about. Okay. Right, how firm it is. Right. So soft is 26, medium firm is 35 compression. So depending on what you're feeling, like let's just say your previous cushions are really soft and you want more support, you don't want to sink down too far, get a 35, it'll work perfectly for yeah. you. Right? Yeah. Or if you are the other camp, you're saying, man, this thing's a brick that I already have, I would suggest a 26 just to be safe. Right, now the 26 and 35, that's, a, that's poundage. That's how many pounds it takes to um, compress the foam to, I think it's- 75% uh, 75 75 of its original, percent of its original height. height. Thank yeah. you very much. You hear that echo? <laughs> that's right. Yeah, no, that no, was good. That was no, good. perfect. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna move forward with the attached Acron. And some people ask, you know, do I have to attach it myself when you order from us? No. We're gonna go ahead and glue it for you. It's gonna be on there, and it's pre-selected when you order. So you're gonna have to actually select it off or take it off if you don't want it. Right, for some reason, maybe you don't, I don't know, but let's tell you quickly, one, Daycron and polybatting are the same thing. Daycron right. is a name brand like Kleenex, but it's really a tissue, okay? So that's, if you know, what's, poly, what's Daycron? It's polybatting. Right, exactly. Is, okay. And there's three different things that the batting actually does for you, so you understand. Number one is it gives the nice crown to this, Let's which you can right see right there. there. Now, the reason why you want to have that is otherwise <laughs> the cushion will look like a board. It would look like this table. Exactly, and you don't want that. Flat. That's, that's right. ugly. Right. And the other two reasons are pretty similar. Mm -hmm. One is that it makes it easier to go on the cushion. Right, Pull that, put it into the cover. Right, and the reason why that is is Daycron is less abrasive than the foam to fabric. Mm -hmm. So since the Daycron is in between the foam and the fabric, it's easier for it to slide in. Mm -hmm. and you won't have the problems of maybe your fabric wearing out prematurely or your foam wearing out. Foam is brutal on fabric, yeah. so it can wear it out, as he just said, quite quickly. So that helps reduce the uh, wear of 
of your fabric. Exactly. So long and short, keep the Daycron. All right, let's move on. All right, so now the first thing for measurement wise is the back width, is which, which is right there. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go in between the welt cording mm -hmm. or piping, and I'm getting 27 and a half. Okay, so again, as we said before, always add that additional inch. So I'm gonna add it right now when I put it in here. So that is 28 and a half. That's what we're ordering. Exactly. Okay. So always measure, add the additional inch, then put in what you're ordering into the actual, you know, formula. Yeah. In any case, we're gonna move forward to the next measurements, which is the width between the arms, which is right here to there. Okay, and I am getting about 28. Okay, so. Since so it's 28, again, add the additional inch, 29. Then the next measurement, I'm gonna get out of your way because yep. you're gonna need to do it right here. So we're gonna go from here to here? Yes, and this is called the T-depth. So I'm going right where it's about to make this turn, where, where it is making that turn. Right, exactly. Okay. So the T-depth is 27 and a half. 27 and a half, 28 and a half. After you have all those things put in, you have the, um, you have the decompression, you have the depression. The compression that you have, you have the Daycron wrap, you have the back width, width between the arms, and the T-depth. Mm -hmm. A new section will open up, and that will be your general measurements, which is the depth, the total depth, the front width, and then the thickness. So let's take one at a time. Okay, so which one do you want next? Depth. So I'm getting 53 and a half. Okay, 53 and a half. Now, let's measure up here just to show them the difference real quick. Yep. What do we have? 53. 53, so you can yeah. tell it's a little bit of a difference, mm -hmm. but you want your widest point. I would. Because I would. the foam will compress right. when you put it inside the cover. It might be a little bit difficult to put it in the cover, but. You'll get past it. You'll get past it. So that was 53 and a half. 53 and a half. So we're doing 54 and a half, putting that inside the website. And the reason why it, it bows out in the center is because from the factory, when they lay a straight edge like this right. here, they want, it helps with the crown, okay? It helps with the, the, um, the loft of the cushion here. They'll go out a little bit. So they're making it like a football. It's very gradual, but right. that's why it's wider in the centers than it is in the corners. Exactly. Okay? Yeah, and it's right. perfect. Um, now the next step is the front width right here. Okay, so we are going to do here to here, right? Mm -hmm. I'm backing off just a little bit because the corner is going to be a little smaller. Right, because they kind of sew in just a bit. Right, so I'm getting 32 there. 32, okay, let's yeah. do the middle part too. 32 and that's 33. 33. Yeah, so they went out a half inch. Now, if you run into this scenario, it's really simple. Just try to gauge what would be in the middle of the two. So what was the first measurement? 32. 32. 33. 33, so let's do 32 and a half. Right. All right, that, that's what we're gonna say it's measuring, but we're gonna order 33 and a half. Right, we're gonna th order 33 and a half. Okay. You'll be fine. Put that in there, and then we are almost done. We have one last measurement. We already did that measurement, but we're gonna mm -hmm. do it again, is the actual thickness of the cushion. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, do they need the, the, the this is all included, right? They That's all included, because how it's done is you have the actual measurement from here mm -hmm. to here. So if you guys are confused about this, it's from here to here, here to there, and then this measurement. So whatever this is, it's the difference between those. There you two go. Two measurements, so. Perfect. It's pretty simple. Right. So you want to bring that out because you might get confused over it. Yeah. Okay. And I was confused. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> okay. So again, it's five. Okay. Okay. I'll check up front. <laughs> and it's five. You keep going around. Okay. I'm going to check and here. It's five. And, and it's five. five. And, and it's, it's five. five. Okay. It's so we're going to order five o'clock. Six. <laughs> six. And yeah. Five. Yeah. So always add that additional inch. That's just a reminder. You can now. The next step is pretty cool. You can add this to the cart. And then continue shopping. Let's just say this is a part of a sectional, which this one is. Right. Then you can just click add a cart for the L cushion, have that safe there, and then go ahead and order the other ones. Let's say it's a square or tapered. It doesn't matter, whichever mm -hmm. one you want. And then you can order it all in one instead of just ordering one at a time. So right. that's one way that you can do it. Hopefully this made it a little bit simpler, less daunting, because we understand a lot of this may be new. It would be new to you. Right. And, you know, it can be daunting. But. Right, we get a lot of questions. We really appreciate them. We definitely want you to continue to ask yeah. us questions definitely. to help you through this. So what we figure we're gonna do is do what we're doing, and that is give you a video to walk you through it. I mean, right. I like videos. Obviously. I do too. I'm, I'm, I'm not very good at reading. No. I mean, I can read, but <laughs> it's not very enjoyable, especially when it comes to something like this. You ought to see him sweat when it's reading. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my but God. Um, also too, please check out 
in the future for future videos about like tracing an actual cushion mm -hmm. because we want to be able to do that as well for you. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have a curved back or something like that, or the front is curved, anything like that. We're going to be adding things new to here. So keep posted and you know yeah keep keep aware of what's what's going on we're, we're trying to keep you aware of what's going on we're, we're working on private courses that's why it's called ucprivatecourses.com we have right. several several videos in the making right now so keep an eye out for those but we're trying to get the cushions out of the way because we're getting more and more and more comments on the cushions so why would we give you stuff that you're not really well, you want it, but not right yet. You're right. asking about the cushions now, so let's get that done first. Exactly. That's what we're doing. So we'll let you know when the private courses are out. We're going to put out little snippets of them mm -hmm. on here on our channel so you can get a taste of it. It's going to be like reupholstering a sofa, you know, slip covering a chair. Slip covering is we, perfect. We have a lot of them, ottomans, right. all the kinds of stuff, headboards, so you're going to enjoy it a lot. You really will. Yeah, slip covers are perfect. They're easy to do. And they change the look almost, ah, please, within a couple of days, you're like completely done. Maybe right. a day if you want to. Right, if you're fast uh, about it, so. Yeah, you'll like it. Excellent. You'll like it. I love slipcovers. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section, like questions, you know, any suggestions or concerns. Let us know. We definitely appreciate it. Don't give us a thumbs up. Us. Exactly. And share with a friend because it helps Grant and myself out a great deal when you do. Hey. So now when it comes to a big L, <laughs> You know what to do. Exactly. See you next time.